Hi, I'm Dylan Stevenson from Running Science and today I'm discussing the science behind carbon fiber plated racing shoes and how exactly they work. Traditionally, your top of the range marathon shoes have looked, racing shoes have looked something like this, very simple and very minimal. But over the past few years, brands have almost unanimously moved to designs like this, with carbon fiber plates, thick midsoles and quite radical geometries. If the record books are anything to go by, this formula is clearly working. Independent research done on Nike's carbon fiber plated offerings suggests that these shoes can help elite runners become anywhere between 0 to 7% more efficient than before. This raises the question, how exactly do these shoes work? So let us start off by talking about the bending stiffness of these shoes. One of the first things you'll notice about them when having a pair like this on foot is how stiff it is through the forefoot region of the shoe. Uh, this is because there's a carbon fiber plate wedged within its midsole. In the case of the Adizero Adidas Pro, there's a plastic rods or a plastic plate within the forefoot region of the shoe. So compared with an everyday trainer, it's going to be a lot more stiff and rigid. The primary reason uh, for this is to reduce how much bending occurs at the toes. Unlike your ankles and foot arch, which bend and spring back into place, the metatarsal phalangeal joints of your toes are not very elastic. And each time they bend, they lose a fraction of your energy. So to counter this, manufacturers have embedded a carbon fiber plate or some sort of structure into their shoes to stiffen up the metatarsal phalangeal joint and prevent energy loss. But there's a problem with simply stiffening up the shoe and reducing the, bang the bending at the forefoot, and that is you shift more work and more load to your ankles, which can offset the benefit that occurs at your toes. But there's a way around this. Which brings us to why these shoes have such a curved geometry. Uh, if you exaggerate a shoe's curvature to form what is called a rocker, your foot rolls through toe off, which reduces the work and load at your ankles and allows you to get the full benefit from stiffening up the forefoot. Another way a plate may be beneficial inside a shoe has to do with increasing the lever length of your ankle. Basically, with a plate inside your shoe, you're able to pivot and generate more ground force further towards the end of your shoe. This would be the mechanical equivalent of riding a bike in a larger gear which, in theory, can allow you to generate more torque. This brings us to what most thought was the crucial benefit of the carbon fiber plate, uh, and that is to act like a spring, which bends and recoils forward. Um, one research paper considered this, but found that the overwhelming majority of spring-like properties you get from a carbon fiber plate tube comes from the midsole itself, rather than the carbon fiber plates. A uh, midsole cushioning foam like PIVA or PBA used in both of these shoes is far more energetic than any other cushioning we've had before. It's also very light, in fact light enough that you can add a 4cm stack onto a shoe without weight being an issue. I'd argue that a shoe like the Vaporfly can benefit simply from having uh, a plate to hold the cushioning together and allow the cushioning to conform to the foot and also give the super soft spongy foam some sort of structure. The Adidas Adizero Adios Pro, in fact, has a carbon fiber plate just on the heel. That's going to give this heel portion some sort of structure and allow it not to become too squishy while still reaping the energy benefits that the foam can offer. Thick but light midsoles can also offer runners other benefits aside from just energy return. For instance, they offer a runner protective benefits, which will allow them to recover quicker after hard work on a race. I hope that this video has provided some sort of insight into the science behind carbon fiber plated racing shoes. Ultimately, the benefit of the shoes lie in the sum of all of its parts and also the individual effect that it has on a runner. Follow along this channel for more future tech videos and see you next time. Cheers.